Hey guys, Dion Taylor here. How great would it be if we could use Dynamics 365 to run a query and get all the leads and contacts that a sales rep has had a conversation with within the X amount of months? Or we could just run a query to find leads or contacts that no one has spoken with yet. We could then utilize the out of the box dynamic marketing list where leads and contacts would just drop in and out of based on that data. If you're interested, take a look at this video. So let me first show you how this is going to work. I'm going to go ahead and open a contact and obviously we can configure this for leads as well. And I am going to, you can see here that I have a phone call and I can open that phone call. And let me actually refresh my screen. Or I should say left voicemail field. <clears throat> so the way that this is going to work is that when I mark this as completed and the left voicemail is set to no, what the system is going to do, let me actually go back here to my contact record. It will update these two custom fields that I have my last spoke with and my last spoke with the rep so that I can track who was the last person that actually spoke to this particular contact. So let's go back here and let's mark this as completed. And that should go ahead and run my flow and update those fields. So let's give that a second and then refresh the screen. Let's hit refresh. And you can now see that my last spoke with date and my last spoke with rep fields now have been updated with whoever completed this particular phone call record. Okay, so now let's take a look at how we can use a Power Automate flow for this. But before we start building out our flow, let me first show you that last spoke with and the last spoke with rep both of those fields so if you go here to make that power i'm going to go ahead i'm going to go here to my contact table and last spoke with and last spoke with rep so let me you can see here that the last spoke with is just a date and time field and then i have my last spoke with rep which is a lookup field for the user table. And obviously I also put those on the lead table as well. So once you've created those fields, you can start building out your flow. So you can just log into flow.microsoft.com and then I wanna go ahead and build this automated clout flow. So let's just go ahead and click on that. So as you can see, you can just go ahead and enter a name here. So I can say update last spoke with fields. And then you can select a trigger. So I'm gonna say when a record is created, updated or deleted. And I'm gonna pick this current environment connector. So you're gonna click create here and then first, of course, right, what do I want to do? I want this to run on creation, updating, or deletion. Well, I want this to only run when something is updated, right? When a phone call is actually closed or completed, I should say. And the entity name, obviously, is phone calls. There we go. And then the scope is going to be organization. And then, obviously, you want to put in a filter expression in here as well, right? Because we said earlier, if that phone call is marked as left voicemail, we didn't really speak to them. 
So I want to filter out on that. And then I also want to make sure that the phone call is completed, right? So we want to get that particular state code, the field as well. So we can actually use XML, XRM, sorry, toolbox for this. This is such a great tool. So you can just go ahead and put in the entity that you're looking for. So I'm going to say this is the phone call entity. And then I want to go ahead and filter. And this is and. And then my condition is going to be the state code equals and we want that as completed right so that's one but we also said we want to make sure that that left voicemail button or I should say field uh, that that's not checked right so I'm going to say I'm going to click on here again I'm going to do another condition where left voicemail equals false. Oh, that's actually incorrect. That's either one or zero. So we could actually take a look at that field to see which of those values we need to pick. So I actually have it open here already. So let's take a look, right? We have left voicemail, we have yes and no. And if I double click here on no, we see that that value is zero. So that's what we want. So we have our conditions here. So now I can click here on view and then I can get the power automate parameters. And here they are state code equals one and left voicemail equals false. So I can just click on that. And then I can put that in my filter expression. So I'm just going to copy that in there. So that's a very easy way to get that filter expression. If you would ever, uh, need to use that for other flows as well. And then obviously you can select, right, how to run this as a process owner, record owner, or the triggering user, right? Whatever you want to select here. Now, the next thing that I need to do here is I'm actually need to do a get record step and I need to get the record that actually triggered this flow. Usually you don't have to do that, but I, notice that the information that I needed for the step after that was not being passed here uh, in my trigger. So I'm going to go ahead and do a new step and this is going to be get record again in my current environment and that's that phone call. So we should get phone calls. The item ID again that's that unique identifier right which is that phone call. And in this next step, we need to know what that phone call is regarding and then have the logic be based on that. So what I'm going to do here is I'm actually going to do a switch. Here's my switch control. And I want to do that on the regarding type, right? That's the record that the phone call relates to. But I want to make sure that I get that from this particular step, from that get a record step. Because again, if I'm using this one, I'm it wasn't really passing that data through. So I'm gonna click on this. And now what we can do here is basically, depending on what record it's related to, right? A contact or lead or whatever else you want to configure this for, um, it's gonna go through these different steps, right? Case, if that regarding type equals uh, a contact, or if it equals a lead, we're going to have different actions, obviously. 
and you notice that I'm putting in here contact, not contacts. So let's now first add an action here, and that's obviously going to be the update a record. Let's see here. That's in the current environment, and that's that contact, right, that we want to update. So I'm going to say contacts. And over here, and now we need that unique identifier. So let's get that unique ID again. And that is the regarding, regarding value from that get a record step. So I'm just gonna gonna put ahead, put it in here. So now what I need to do is update those last book with fields. So I'm going to hit control F. I'm going to type in last spoke with fields. Let's see here. So here they are. So the last spoke with is obviously that date field. So I want to get the modified on that said date and time field over here. And then obviously I want to also populate who was the person that spoke to this particular contact. And that person is going to be a system user. So that is going to be modified by, and that's that value, right? So you gotta make sure, I'm not sure if you guys are seeing this, but you type in system users and then an opening bracket and then that mod modified by value field. And then again, that closing bracket obviously as well. Now let's do the same thing here for that lead. Again, we're going to do add an action. I'm going to do update a record. This is going to be leads. And we're going to get that unique ID. So that's the regarding value. I'm going to expand. And then here is the last spoke with field. So we're going to do the same thing, modified on. And then here, system users, opening bracket, modified by value. And again, that closing bracket. And then you can just go ahead and save your flow. Now, what you could also do is that, right, if you're updating that contact, you can do a query to see if that contact is related to an account and then update that account as well with those spoke with fields. So after you save it or even before you save it, you can just go ahead and test your flow, right, manually, obviously the first time because there, this is the first time we're activating this. So you can just go ahead and hit test and then that should work. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe so you'll never miss another video. Have a great day and stay safe.